All right, everyone, it's time to rock and roll. You know, because this list is about rocks. I mean, the world's full of some crazy cool and expensive rocks. From color-changing gemstones to super rare red diamonds, here are 15 of the rarest gemstones and minerals ever seen. Number 15. King Cobra Pearl, aka Nagamani Stone. The first stone on our list goes by many names, but for the sake of its usage and supposed healing abilities, we'll stick with the Snake Stone. The stone's used as protection from evil spirits, normally, but people have said that the stone is actually effective against snake bites and their poison. Though the World Health Organization has made it abundantly clear that this has no effect on snake bites, so if you're bitten, you should probably still see the doctor, even if you just so happen to have one of these stones laying around. The snake stone's usually made out of charred animal bone and is found in many different civilizations throughout the world, including Peru, Iran, and the Congo. While all of the accounts differ from place to place, they all do agree that when the stone is strapped to or near the area of the snake bite, the stone will actually draw out the venom. So as much as modern medicine would say that it's ineffective against bites, it's really hard to determine whether or not the people who claim this are full of crap. I mean, how else could so many people from so many different countries agree on something like this? I'm sure they don't agree on much else. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Red Diamond now, I'm sure this statement's going to be true for many of the entries on our list, but this sure sounds like something that Indiana Jones would love to get his hands on and put in a museum. Apart from sounding like it, red diamonds are the rarest diamond color, and are therefore the most expensive ones in the world. Maybe Indy would think about selling it for some extra cash. Most of the gemological community is not exactly sure what gives the red diamonds their color, though they mostly agree that both the red and the pink diamonds colors are caused by gliding atoms in the diamond structure as it undergoes enormous pressure during its formation. Trying to get your hands on one? Well, you better be ready to pay hundreds of thousands per carat. The largest and most flawless diamond in the world comes in at 5.1 carats and is called the Fancy Red Musaf Red Diamond and maintains completely flawless internal clarity. If I ever become a con man or a heist man or something, this is going to be the first thing that I go for. Number 13. Larimar, the Stone of the Sea. Now I'm having daydreams of being an adventurer, looking for all those super cool and priceless things around the world, traveling and learning about lots of cool stuff. Anyways, the next step on our adventures through priceless stones begins with the Caribbean island of Hispaniola. The stone lives up to its name, not only through its location, but by its watery looking attributes. It looks like something that the sea actually spit up. Even though it does look like water gave birth to this silky looking mineral, it was actually fire, or rather extreme heat that created it. It's normally found in a dormant volcanic mountain range in the Baruco Mountains of the Barajano region. I hope I got all that right. Discovered in 1970 in the Dominican Republic, Larimar is a blue variation of the mineral pectolite, which is the only common gem form of the mineral. The mineral is known for its power to open up the throat chakras and help its wearer with communication. Because the communication is more open, the wearer's emotional state will stabilize as a result. I know I could definitely use one of these. Maybe for the next list I'll wear it and see how it goes. Number 12. Jadeite. It's pretty crazy how many varieties and variations there are of rocks in the world. Scientists have been able to identify 4,000 different minerals, and many of them are quite rare. 
Jade is a bit more on the common side, while its close yet harder sibling, Jadeite, is definitely more on the rare side of the spectrum. Rich emerald green Jadeite is also known as Imperial Jade and is quite expensive. Though durable jadeite comes in several different colors and is great for both intricate carvings and cabochons, many collectors of such minerals actually base their pricing not only on their qualities, but on their functional artistry and the antiquity behind the mineral. This is also to say that its appeal is largely based on collectors. The finest jadeite originates from Myanmar. And in 2016, the United States would lift its embargo on importing jade from the country. Though Myanmar may have this jade, China has historically had great admiration for jadeite. Today, it remains the strongest market for the gemstone. So for all of you who are looking to score some, you know where to begin. Number 11. The Taphite Stone it seems that there's a major troll in the stone and mineral community. This epic troll goes by the name of Spinel. Many times throughout history, people have given spinels in the place of rubies in order to con or scam people out of the real thing. Enter the Taphite Stone which is also similar to the spinel, but much less widely known. So when people were scamming others with spinels, they very well could have been actually giving taphite instead. Taphite can come in a large number of colors and shades and is only found in our buddy country of Myanmar though some lower grade versions have also been dug up in China and Russia. The fact it is so limited means that it is obviously difficult to find. I mean, it seems that you can find some, but they may be very low graded in terms of quality. One gemstone seller has only seen four quality taphites in his 16 years in the business. For example, in 2018, there was only one up for auction and it went for $20,000. That is really a lot for a stone. Number 10, Red Barrel. I want it to be known to all of you on YouTube that my favorite color is red. So it makes me super happy to see so many red minerals and gems on the list. Go red! Anyways, for the red barrel, it runs the gambit of reds from a nice lightish raspberry red to a dark purplish red, though it is still a red, not purple. So don't get any quick ideas. Red Barrel is the rarest variety of the large barrel family. Other more well-known members include emeralds and aquamarine. They form in a crystal structure, and its crystals rarely go beyond two inches in length. The largest one that was ever found weighed 54 carats, which totally puts diamonds in my eyes because I would love to own that baby. To put the red barrel scarcity into perspective, only one is mined for every 150,000 diamonds. And a two carat red barrel? Well, that's as rare as a 40 carat diamond. Along with this, the largest known faceted red barrel is 8.0 carats. So hold on to your hats, everyone, because I'm really beginning to think that after this list, I gotta get heavily into collecting these stones. Number nine, Hudratite. Now I'm curious what the big deal is with rocks. I mean, why are they so expensive anyways? But then again, why is anything really expensive? Supply and demand, that's why. The Pudratite is a member of the Assumilite Millerite group of minerals, and its hardness comes in a five. So it's not the sexiest rock around, but it's still very rare which to me makes it very sexy indeed. Seven Poudretite crystals were first discovered in the Poudret Quarry in Quebec in 1965. They ranged from colorless to very pale pink, etched barrel-shaped hexagonal prisms. Until 1986, the Poudretite crystals were not recognized as a new mineral species. But then in November of 2000, an Italian gem dealer purchased an unfamiliar rough crystal of gem quality. Where do you guys think he bought it? Well, for those of you who guessed right, yeah, Myanmar. You're totally correct. What is it with Myanmar and rocks anyways? The color of the Poudretite is a pale purple pinkish color, so it's not red. So. Who gives a crap? No, I'm just kidding. The stone actually runs a pretty wide gambit of colors, so you and me, we're, we're still cool, Poudretite. Number eight, Jeremajivite. 
Now these gemstones need to chill out on their names. They're getting pretty crazy. This sounds like some kind of super rare illness or something. Jeremajivite. That being said, the name has been around for two whole centuries and has been very difficult to find during that time. Though recently, a pocket of them were found in Nambia, and for the first time in about 10 years. They're still on sale over at Yavorsky if anyone wants to drop some top dollars on one. So why the crazy name? Well, a Mr. Pavel Zheramajev found them. He was a Russian geologist and mineralogy teacher to the members of the Romanov royal house, and he found the stones in the southeast of Lake Bakal in Siberia in 1833. The prism-shaped minerals display a fine sparkle and come in a light blue hue. When the mineral would first be discovered, it was confused with aquamarine, so in terms of blue stones, this one definitely takes the top spot as being the most rare on the planet. And I have to say it, does it look like that blue meth from Breaking Bad to anyone else? Or is it just me? Number 7. Amylite Let's take a little trip back in time to the Mesozoic era of the Earth. As the sea receded, land came back. Ammonite? Well, it became buried in a layer of sediment that had a mineral called bentonite in it. Because of this mineral, in this one and only location, the amylite gained its beautiful collage of rainbows worth of different colors. About half of all the amylite deposits in the world are found in the Kenai Native American Reserve, and this also means that this mineral is found only on the eastern side of the Rocky Mountains. Its opal-like structure makes it widely sought after, along with its beautiful color spectrum. Now, do you, any of you viewers believe in feng shui or chakras or any of those things? I'd be willing to bet at least some of you. And if you do, I've found some facts about amylite's effect on you. The coolest one being that this stone can actually help the flow of your chi, or your energy, throughout the body. It also helps for wisdom and guiding its wearer into deep states of meditation. Sounds like a beautiful little stone if you ask me. Number 6. Benitoite Discovered roughly halfway between San Francisco and Los Angeles by prospector James M. Couch in the San Benito Mountains in 1907, Beninoite is a rare mineral that's best known to be the official Californian state gemstone. So good for you, California. It's really actually pretty cool because my name is Ben, so this could be the official rock for all the Bens in the world as well. I officially decree it to be so. Let's take a look at the mineral itself. Is it the most dope mineral of all? Well, absolutely. Typically blue in color, dang it. Benitoite's price comes in at around $4,000 per carat and is formed at the southern end of the Diablos Range. The mineral can also be found in Arkansas and in parts of Japan. Wow, so close together. Often referred to as the blue diamond, the mineral was first thought to be sapphire. But when they then got a closer look, they saw that the color around the edges was not the same tint as a sapphire. Blue diamond. What a super kick-ass criminal name. It all seems that the whole criminal thing is coming together. Number 5. Granditorite. I think a lot of the rare gems and minerals in the world are blue, or at least a lot of them on the list are. Granditorite has no exception, except the color blue for this one is more of a bluish green, which is a shade of blue and I'm definitely quite partial to. It has a hardness rating of 7.5, which means it's really strong. It also entails that it is perfect for jewelry, seeing as it's very difficult to scratch or mark up during its use. Since its discovery in 1902, most gem-like granditorite has been translucent, meaning that it's just a little bit see-through. Some cabochons were cut from this material to look kind of like jade, and in recent discoveries they found that it can also become transparent. These were found in Sri Lanka around the year 2000, and a brand new deposit would be found in Madagascar in 2014. This mineral also has something that kind of sounds like a fatal disease. It's called trichroic pleochroism, I think which means that it can show three different sorts of colors depending on the angle that you look at it. Sadly, there are no known treatments or enhancements for these stones, so you just gotta take it as it is. Number 4. Tanzanite Another trichroic stone is the Tanzani mineral. 
This one can range from light blues or lilacs to deep indigos and violets. And even though it's a really rare stone, the price of it is actually quite low. Its price per carat can range anywhere from $300 to $600. So sorry there, Tanzanite. You're cool, but it seems like people don't think you're really that cool. It was discovered in the 1960s and named after Tanzania by the Tiffany & Company. They declared it to be the most beautiful stone discovered in the last 2,000 years. But I'm sure they just wanted to sell some of them. Tanzanites found in a small area that's only 4 kilometers wide and 2 kilometers long at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro in the north of Tanzania. Apparently it was formed 85 million years ago under circumstances that were so exceptional that the likelihood of finding some anywhere else on Earth is one in a million. And in 25 years, the entire supply will have been depleted. Ha <laughs> ha! So you wouldn't have thought that a rock could go extinct as well. Well, better get your hands on one now before it's too late. Number three, Anite. Now it's time to bring the pain. Right. Painite. It kind of sounds like a jerk rock. Because we all know that rocks can be jerks, don't we? Just like my friend Steve. Especially when they're thrown at someone or landed upon. And guys, guess where it was found? That's right, Myanmar. What a big surprise. Myanmar must be swimming in money. Because this rock also sells for, hold on to your seat, between 50,000 and 60,000 per carat. Discovered in Myanmar by a British mineralogist and gem dealer, Arthur C.D. Payne, who misidentified it as a ruby. Good going, Arthur. It was rediscovered then in the 1950s when it was reclassified and put into the gemstone family. Its color can range from orange red to brownish red, and it's naturally hexagonal in shape. Up until 2004, only two had been cut into faceted gemstones, and that makes it one rare mother-loving gem. It's kind of unfortunate that such stones are so difficult and expensive for people without the means to access them, because I would love to steal, <laughs> I mean, get one of them for myself. All right, fine, that's it. We're starting a heist crew. Who's with me? Who wants to go to Cayo Perico? Number two, Black Opal. Now we have an interesting color here. Not blue, not green, not red, but black like my soul. No, I have a rainbow soul. Which actually, when you look at the black opal, it kind of appears to have a rainbow-like quality to it as well. This is a pretty cool gemstone. So cool, in fact, that even Shakespeare had a nickname for it. The mother of all gemstones. How eloquent for a wordsmith. Since these things have become so trendy, it's become difficult for the common eye to spot a quality black opal gemstone. It does make for really great jewelry, but try and see if you can get your hands on one that is truly a black opal. Learning about what is truly a black opal? Well, that'll be kind of difficult because it's such a unique stone that there's an entirely different grading system for them. The three criteria are brilliance, transparency, and pattern. Though I'll also add, good luck getting your hands on one, because they're found only in Australia. More specifically, Lightning Ridge. Number 1. Alexandrite. This is the last one on the list, and then we're all getting to our heist. Alexandrite would be named after Tsar Alexander II of Russia, where it was first discovered in the Ural Mountains. Or is it Ural Mountains? I don't know. After they found the color of the stone changed depending on the time of the day or the positioning of the sun, it was then named the National Stone of Tsarist Russia, whose military colors were green and red. Throughout the years, it became the prize gem of the Russian upper classes until later when a deposit would be discovered in Brazil. Then they were all like, oh, if poor people can have it, then I don't want it anymore. It's funny, but it's also true. Alexandrite is a heavily imitated gem, so you have to watch out if you get your hands on one. If you're looking to buy, be sure you do your research beforehand that you don't get gypped or something. Anyways, because of its color shifting, it's a gem that's supposed to bring balance to your life. It's also seen as an aid and a bridge for people who are looking to connect their spirituality with their body. So, my mom just called, and I can't go do the heist, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe next time, though. The list was cool. There were some really beautiful rocks in the world that I had no idea about. 
And if you were to propose to a loved one, which one of them would you want to give to your hot babe? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.